Next, we will look at rectangles. So, what is a rectangle? Rectangle is also a parallelogram, but a special parallelogram with equal angles. Now, we know that rhombus where, uh, is with equal sides. Rhombus is a parallelogram with equal sides. Rectangle is a parallelogram with equal angles. So, a rectangle will look like this, where all four angles are equal, because of which all of them will be equal to 90 degree also, because we know that uh, sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360. If all of them are equal, each one of them will be equal to 90 degree. Now, properties wise, for a rectangle, what are the properties? All properties of a parallelogram, right? Rectangles will have all the properties of a parallelogram because finally it's a parallelogram. Apart from that, this why it's a special parallelogram because of these uh, extra properties, which is all the angles are equal and equal to 90 degree. That's an important word. One more is where the diagonals, that is these two diagonals in this uh, rectangle, diagonals will be equal. Now, in a parallelogram, diagonals are just bisectors. In a rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. Here, they are bisectors and equal. So, in a rectangle, diagonals are equal. In a rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. And in a parallelogram, they are just bisectors. Now, we have understood uh, what is a rhombus. Rhombus is where all sides are equal. We understood what is a rectangle where all angles are equal and equal to 90. Now let's look at a scenario where both these conditions are satisfied. That is, first I'll show a rhombus here, where all sides are equal. Here I'll take a, a rectangle where all angles are equal. Now all sides, both of them are parallelograms. Now what will happen? What will be the kind of parallelograms where both these qualities are there, that is sides are equal and angles are equal. If you bring together, you will end up getting a square like this. So what is a square? A square is a parallelogram where uh, sides are equal uh, and angles are equal. When only sides are equal, it's called a rhombus. When angles are equal, it's called a rectangle. When both will happen, that is when sides are equal, angles are equal, that kind of parallelogram will be a square. So it's obvious that a square will have properties of a parallelogram because finally it's a parallelogram. It'll have the properties of a parallelogram, it'll have the properties of a rhombus, it'll have the properties of a rectangle. So, it's, it's very easy to understand or it's obvious that, now let's, uh, what about diagonals? What, what will be the properties based on uh, pro properties for the diagonals of a square? Very simple, right? Diagonals will bisect each other as in a parallelogram, because we know that in a parallelogram, in a parallelogram, diagonals bisect each other. In a rhombus, diagonals are perpendicular to each other. In a rectangle, diagonals are equal. So, in a square, all these qualities will be there. Diagonals will bisect each other like in a parallelogram, or because it's a parallelogram, because square is a parallelogram, they will be of equal length because square is a rectangle also and they are perpendicular to each other because square is a rhombus also.